hey hello everyone welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to take a look how we can add a depth hazing in your footage so i already uh, have a short video about how to add a depth haze but today we are going to take a look uh, in a deeper way how to add a depth hazing in your footage uh, using these three methods so the first one is a grade one and second is a pg and the third one is a constant method as you can see in my foot footage i have this exr file and to add a depth haze you need a depth channel so as you can see i have this depth channel if i view from here as you can see so if i show you this red and if i just camera down you will see i have this depth channel and i generated this depth using a depth generator so if you don't know about this node this is the node uh, we have in a nuke from very long time see uh, this node uh, so i generate this depth uh, using this uh, depth generator you basically need a camera so you have to uh, do a camera track uh, first and then you can add here and you uh, plug your source and you can basically generate a depth channel so i did that and i render this uh, as a exr with a depth channel so now let's see how we can add a depth hazing as you can see this footage already have a little bit of depth here but we will see uh, the methods uh, how we can add so these are the technique basically i use when i am adding a depth haze in uh, any kind of shots so let's see so the first one is a uh, simple the grade one so what i did i just shuffle out my depth channel and i normalize the depth channel first as you can see if i show you my alpha as you can see uh, what i did i just selected the black point and the white point in this one from so it's create a ram basically from 0 to 1 from here to here i did that and i blur it a little bit and i use this as a mask in my grid so i basically added a depth hazing as you can see looking very nice and in the grid i basically just increase this gamma you can also increase again but i increase the gamma so it's make it more flat look as you can see as you can see so to add more depth haze here so this is the grade one you can add multiple grade grade using this uh, input as a mask so let's see the second one the second one is little bit of a procedural method so because uh, as you can see i have this input channel and also we have uh, this uh, blur and what what i'm doing here i'm just blurring this background itself uh, 500 as you can see and in this pipe i shuffle out the depth and i'm using this p ramp you can also use a, use a grade node but i use this p ramp and just by doing the same thing as you can see i'm just creating my start point and end point so basically creating a ramp like this in a uh, with a depth channel and just grading a bit uh, using a gamma to control the fall off basically and just blurring this one in and what i'm doing here i'm basically masking this one this blur background so as you can see i'm basically masked out using this one and uh, i'm just off this multiplier and then just overing this one on top so basically i'm doing i'm blurring this pg cutting with this mask and just overing on the plate so the advantage of this one if you have multiple lights in your scene and they are flickering or something is going on uh, with the light direction uh, it will you know automatically will apply in your depth hazing also but as you can see uh, by default it's looking pretty good what we can do we can just increase the blur more and you get more flatter look so if i make it find it looking good so as you can see uh, the advantage of this technique you will get the exact color where it should be so as you can see here it's completely haze if i turn this off as you can see we have this ocean line and the horizon is already getting uh, blurry and haze looking and on top we are adding a more haze as you can see it's looking very good very natural we can control this uh, just add a multiplier and just control this with opacity as you can see i uh, decrease at 0.3 to make it a more believable look so as you can see this is the way you can add depth haze and you can also add a color here so let's see so if i need more color so i can increase the saturation before my blur so if i increase this two and let's see so as you can see now we have more saturation as you can see we are getting a more this uh, warm color from this side if you feel like the color is too high you can always decrease and as you can see now you get more neutral color as you can see here see now we don't have we just reduce it by half so we get more flatter look but still we are using a background so this is also very good technique 
and the last is the third one which i use the most so i use these two uh, most of the time uh, the grade one is not that good you or you you need a rgb color to over your background not a grade i'm um, so in this one we are just uh, using a grade and just grading the plate but in the in these two techniques we are we have a a pipe with the rgb color in a haze and then we are adding on top so this third one what i did here uh, i make a constant okay and i take the average color of this scene this entire scene i guess in in this part i think i take it so i get this color so and then i did the same thing i made a ramp and let's first quickly switch off these two grades and let's see same thing what we did here but instead of background we have a constant okay everything is same so we are just masking this one like that and just overing here so as you can see uh, in the constant one and the background one as you can see we have a much more difference because the background one is looking good but the constant one is not uh, that much interesting so if i turn off you will see the difference but as you can see the constant one is looking much much more natural as you can see we don't have much thing here and it's adding a haze and if i turn this off as you can see this is the maximum we can add a haze as you can see so it's looking good so the advantage of using constant uh, as you can see what i did here i using the depth map and i create a, these two passes as you can see these two mask basically so with that one uh, i can create this uh, constant before masking so as you can see if i show you the constant so as you can see i'm using a grade to grade this sky and another grade and with it uh, with this con with this mask input i'm grading this foreground and then i'm masking with this depth haze mask what we have here if i view from here and if i turn it off you will see the difference and in the final you will see this difference very clearly so as you can see so basically i'm adding a more depth here and less here because this is very far away and this is not that much far and because the light is also hitting here so and uh, this is very far so because of the depth we will see more as you can see this grade i'm adding more here and in this one i'm basically adding a little bit here because here we don't have anything so i'm adding a bit here what you can do you can just increase the multiplier or a gamma or whatever so as you can see i added a bit more here in this one let's see increase 5 and you will see see this much as you can see now we added that the reason why this is looking uh, uh this kind of blob uh, blob looking because of the depth depth map we don't uh, have much we don't have a depth map accurately because it's generated from the uh, depth generator so it's not uh, coming from a 3d department so this is a live plate so for the demonstration purpose i choose this one just to show you how you can add a depth uh, head on your live plate if you have a live action plate so i think the two is good so now if you compare as you can see so i like the constant one as you can see we can uh, do uh, much more changes in the depth map as you, basically as you can see here and on top of that i can also change the color let's see in this far away i don't like uh, this warm so what i can do i can just make it blue so as you can see now i make this thing blue so this is the advantage you can change the color how i want and any part so let's make it blue like this let's add a little bit of orange oh sorry a little bit green so now as you can see now it's looking much better so compared to here we have a warm color uh, because uh, we are averaging and uh, warm is uh, very dominating in this part so but here i change the color a bit in the constant one so we can customize the color so this is the advantage of using a constant so these are the techniques these are the three main techniques so you can use a grade uh, with the mask input in your depth channel and you can use the background so as your input so as your a pipe and then you can use a constant color also so so these are little bit of in depth i have a short video about how to do a depth hazing in that it's it's almost it's almost a one minute so it, so i try to explain you the depth head how you can add in your plate or your cg also if you have a cg shot so this is the way you can add depth hazing using depth channel 
so if you don't have depth channel you can also use the position uh, channel position path also so i hope you like it so if you have any questions please let me know in the comment and we will see you in our very next one have a great day thank you